Hey, this is Joe. In this video, uh, I'm going to take care of a output shaft seal. I noticed it when uh, I was underneath doing some fluid changes. Uh, this is a 2016 Ram 1500. It has the 3.6 Pentastar in it. Let's get straight into this. All right, let's give this uh, let's give this seal a try. I crawled under there on uh, the driver's side. It seems like I'm going to have more room on the passenger side. Not a whole lot, but just enough. I did away with the creeper too, just so I have room to move around. Now, this is the first time I've done anything like this. Uh, I watched a fella on YouTube do it on his Hummer. I think this looks real similar. It seems like they're all pretty similar. But we're going to give it a go, see what happens. The fella at the parts store was a new guy, so I'm really hoping I got the right seal. I hope I don't have to leave this wide open while I'm waiting for tomorrow. But So here's what's going to happen. This is the rear of that shaft. And if you follow that shaft along here, you'll see where the leaky part is. So what we're going to do is take this sucker apart with this U joint here. So I'm going to take these four bolts out. There's two on this side, two on that side. Um, first I'm going to brake clean it, get it nice and clean. Uh, use a sharpie, make sure that your sharpie works before you do this. Um, make some lines so that you can reorient this exactly how it came apart. But after we take these apart, uh, we're going to set it here on the jack stand just so it doesn't wiggle around too much. And then we're going to pull it loose out of there, hopefully, and replace that seal. And we'll see how this goes. So before we get started with this video, um, I just wanted to explain a couple things. This video right here is why I started making videos. Uh, I caught a bunch of mistakes on this video because I was in a hurry. I just wanted to do some uh, fluid changes while I was under there. I saw that there was a leak and I thought maybe that seal would be an easy one to fucking replace. And uh, not that it's hard, but I didn't put a whole bunch of research into it. I just went and got a part and, and tried to do what I could do. And I made some mistakes and there was one major safety mistake and I'm glad I caught this on camera because this is this is why I started doing videos to try and catch mistakes for rookies like me to help rookies like people watching this video even not rookies I don't know whatever just help somebody not fucking kill themselves all right so this whole night was a son of a bitch everything was working against me I should have known the universe was bumping me in the wrong direction and telling me to take a step back, reevaluate, and move in with uh, the detail I usually try and work with. But, I don't know, I got all out of sorts that night, so here goes. All right, let's go over these mistakes. I know of three mistakes I made, and I'll go over two of them with you right now. So, in case you didn't know, the output shaft is coming right out of the center of the truck here right out of the transfer case there. And you'll see the one I installed is leaking right now. So I'll explain my first mistake that I know of. If you can see that hole right there, that hole is meant for um, letting any kind of moisture that gets up in there, you know, from off the road or whatever, and it, it lets it drip, drip back down into the end of the roadway, just, so it doesn't go back into your transfer case. That's the whole issue there. That should be pointing straight down. I didn't take notice, I didn't research it. I just put it in however I put it in. Stupid. So, my uh, second mistake, let me grab this thing real quick. you'll see in the video I used this guy to get the seal out 
which I really don't have a problem with. Uh, the seal I took out does not look like this. It was a factory seal. It didn't have this metal ring around it. It was just rubber right up against there. So there wasn't really anything for me to grab. Now what I'm gonna I'm gonna redo this and uh, I'm gonna be able to wedge something under here and pry that out of there. Obviously not wanting to to mar the transfer case. But either way, in the video, you know, I'd I'd stick it in, um, avoiding the shaft coming out of there, and uh, just pry against it and work my way around. And I did a pretty decent job, and I would do it again. But the the little mistake I made was I did scratch the inside of the surface right up in here on the inside of that. Um, I don't think it was a terrible scratch. I don't think it's actually doing anything, but it was still a mistake that I don't care for. Um, obviously, there must be another mistake because it's fucking leaking again, you know? And uh, one thing, I, other thing I didn't know is this is just more of a dust cover. The actual seal is in here. The, the part you pound in is the thing sealing the fluid in. So there's that. Third mistake, kind of a big one, uh, very simple, and I'm just an idiot. Uh, I did not chalk the wheels. I did, I did not mention the e-brake will not work for this job. The e-brake on this particular truck works on a, a little drum situation on the back tires and we are disconnecting the back tires so e-brake will not help you on this i knew i needed to do this beforehand there's no reason i have no excuse for this i got wrapped up in the drama of the night and i just didn't do it it should have been the very first thing i did essentially if you don't know what we're doing is taking this drive shaft out of here which is connecting everything up that, that makes the park function on your truck work. We're taking it out of park. Uh, it's shit, I don't know. Uh, you'll see in the video, I about shit my pants. My truck started rolling on me and I've got a drive shaft in my hands. My camera rigged, hopefully it'll stay there. All right, these bolts are 15 millimeter. Um, I wound up having to use a, a 3 8 head. Because the half inch, just not enough clearance. Not for these, this set anyways. But whatever, just an FYI. Right, let me clean this off and make it mark. I'm cleaning this up real good. Uh, so my lines don't disappear. I'm hoping this brake clean don't fuck with my marker. I'm going to mark the hell out of it. On one side I'm going to make one set of lines. On another side I'm going to make two lines right down on this part just in case I get wild and wind up uh, rubbing my marks off so this side I'm gonna do two lines this side I'm gonna do one line and right down on this I think we'll be all right with that fuckers are on there. Get ready. Might need to have your wife give you some help. I need to have my wife give me some help. Shit. Breaker bar is the way to go. That 3 8 drive wasn't going to be near enough. Look at the size difference. That little sucker. Not the man I used to be. I'm going to run around and make sure I can break them all loose. 
Luckily, there's a lot of room up in the top side of this. To get this fucking breaker bar. So I guess I lied. Half inch is the way to go if you have a breaker bar. Because I have a feeling you might need it. Hard telling. I guess if we can get some leverage on it. Or if we could put a pipe over the end of your 3 8 ratchet. That'd work too. I just happen to have this handy. I'm going to leave that one for the last bolt. That seems like it's the easiest one. Try and leave an easy bolt for the last part. Ugh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. That was fucking in there. That blue Loctite thought it was red. Son of a bitch. That was fucking a good one. Alright, this top one, no go off. I'm gonna get out the fourth fucking ratchet to get this cocksucker off. Hopefully, this is the hard part. I'm sure if you have a big impact, it'd probably be a lot easier too. I don't think I have an impact with the balls to get this shit out. Well, I tried the hell. I had some ratchets. Them fuckers didn't work, so... Give the wrenches a try. Of course, the ratcheting part is not gonna work. <sighs> That's the way to do it. Looks like a push from down here. Happy to have a bolt out, but it's intact, so fucking a. Get this motherfucker off of here. All right. Just took my whole fucking toolbox to get it off. I really don't know what to expect. This thing's gonna just fall or not. Got another jack stand set up on the front end. together, I guess. This little pry bar, hopefully it's break us loose. Got some WD-40 and a pry bar. Soaked up in there. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I think I just sprayed my goddamn camera. Phone Before you get started on uh, taking that drive shaft out, this is probably the most important thing possible. Chalk your wheel. It's going to roll. Well, that pops 
bits out of there pretty fucking easy. A little bit of oil. It's not too heavy. Alright. That wasn't too bad. That was way better than taking those bolts out. Son of a bitch. I don't know, the video I watched, it wasn't on this truck, so he made it seem like this was real hard to get off. And they got some special tool. I'm hoping just a, a pick like this will pull it out of there somehow. I hope. I can see it breaking loose, little by little. I'm definitely applying pressure to the outsides of this thing, not the, uh, the shaft coming out of there that does the work. I'm just grabbing onto the outside there and breaking her loose. Yep, she's coming out. Just trying to go around evenly so it comes out even. Grabbing on the right thing. Here we go. Sweet. Yep. Got more shit on my forehead. I did a pretty decent job. One thing, if, if you do use this method, you know, I've never done this shit before, so I don't know. But watch the walls on the inside of here with this pick. You can see I was trying to make sure and uh, get just the edge of the edge of the seal. So I wouldn't mess anything else up. You see, I, I got one mark right there. But I think I did pretty good everywhere else. I don't think it'll make a difference, but gotta hope. We'll see. Shit. Looks like it's gonna be sitting here tonight. Damn it. Well, everything seems to be going to hell tonight as far as this project goes. Um, I got this. There's the seal I bought. There's the one I took out. They are not the same, so I got to uh, go exchange that tomorrow. I work night shifts, so everything I do, or all my videos are going to be at night, and at night, part stores aren't open, so I'm fucked until tomorrow. So that means I can't refill any fluids or anything, because I still have my drive shaft out, everything's just out, so hopefully some crackhead out here don't decide he wants a drive shaft tonight. So I guess I'm going to move on to a different project, see how much shit I can get torn apart, and uh, maybe I can have the engine all over the goddamn place too. So, hopefully the morning will be better, or afternoon, morning for me. Night number two. Went to the parts store, picked up another gasket, a, or, or a seal, seal. Um, it's, it's not identical. The one that was identical that they had was beat up. Brand new, but beat up, so someone probably returned it. But everything matches up. That matches up, and then the, the thickness there matches up. And the thickness down there matches up. So all that's different is this metal ring, and I don't see how that can hurt anything. Everything else is the same. So, either way, I gave it a test fit. It uh, definitely fits in there. So I'm going to have to find something to 
fit around this this edge so I can pound it in but and maybe that's why they put that edge on there maybe they were being nice and giving us something to pound on but terrific I might be able to actually finish this I was looking around for something that would be uh, a little bigger than that diameter so I could pound it on I can't find anything all the stores are closed because it's a uh, it's night shift time so what I did uh, the biggest hole saw I got is a two and a half inch and it is just damn near perfect but you can see it doesn't quite go down all the way so if you had a three inch that'd probably be just right so I'm just gonna go around this edge and file it down a little bit just right on that edge so we don't catch right there and then I'll use that to pound that sucker on hopefully that works out let's see so I beveled that out just with a, just with a little knife here and now it fits perfectly flat in there so I should be able to pound away and not have to worry about damaging the outside part of that so let's get out to the truck and see if this works while I'm inside I'm gonna go ahead and clean up these flange bolts too I think that's what you call them is it flange bolts damn it I always got my fingers in the damn camera okay so you can see all that blue Loctite remains so I'm just gonna uh, run this some bitch through there and get that cleaned out so it'll go in a little easier while I'm in here okay here's the setup got my tool to uh, pound it in so we're gonna insert that into the transfer case I'll have that open I'm gonna have one more board I'll place over the top of that then I will apply force using this son of a bitch right here right to the center of that son of a bitch right there let's hope it works let's see I'll be damned. I think. I think it worked perfect. Is that good enough? Well, as I'm watching the footage of uh, installing this, I notice I did not take note of that little notch in there. And uh, I have a feeling that, because uh, this is the same piece of wood I used. If I didn't have that aligned properly, you can see that, let me get it in the sun. If I didn't have it aligned properly, that little notch was going to keep it from sitting flat. So that night I did not have my file with me, that's why I wound up using that knife. I have my file now, so I'm going to go clean this up, uh, give me a little bigger diameter so I am not touching that at all. All right, I got her all filed down, uh, smooth all the way around. Uh, now I can see, if you watch where that notch is, it doesn't matter where I put it. It is flat all the way around, and that notch does not catch anywhere. 
So this, no matter what position I have this block of wood, I'm not gonna catch that thing again. Let's try it uh, one more time. All right, the second time around seemed to work a little better. I feel more confident in it. Um, I used the same exact procedure as last time, just a uh, you know, better piece of wood. So I've got that on there. She's nice and tight. I ran my fingers around the edges. I even got my head up in there to make sure I was sealed perfect all the way around. So I'm feeling good about that up there. Um, last time, I believe I just put uh, just a little bit of lube or a little bit of fluid around that seal. And uh, after watching a couple videos, really just one video, where the fellas seem to know a lot more than me, um, they really, so I've already cleaned this off, but uh, they essentially just dumped fluid on this sucker um, to get a good seal as it's going in. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I've got her nice and wiped clean, so let's get some fluid on there. I'm not gonna be too, uh, conservative with it I'm sure because of this it will uh, it's gonna drip a little bit of fluid for uh, I don't know I think a week is what they said and then it should dry right up so um, as I've got it sitting uh, that is exactly how I pulled it out of there so if I was to just go straight up with it right now uh, it'll be perfectly in place so I'm gonna try and set the camera up and, and catch that this time. All right, that thing went in super simple. I just took my time, made sure I went in correctly, checked the orientation of this uh, this U joint a couple times before I uh, actually slid it in. Um, pretty easy. Uh, I have a pretty good wingspan though, so it, it wasn't terribly difficult for me. Uh, it's not it's not super heavy, so either way, I got a couple of the bolts started. Just to hold it in place, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a little bit of blue Loctite back on it. It looked like that was the way it came out from the factory, so uh, I'll put some blue Loctite on the, the bolts for the top and get those ran in and then take these two out, put some Loctite on those, and then run those back in. All right, I got all the bolts ran in here. Uh, what I did, so each one I'd uh, get a little bit of blue Loctite on there. Um, get it in there as far as I could with my fingers and then as I was tightening them down I tightened them down evenly going in an X pattern so I'd start down here in the corner then go to the opposite corner then uh, pick a corner or whatever and go to the opposite of that corner uh, tightening it down slowly so you don't uh, stress one side or the other too much uh, I'm at the point where uh, they're tight I'm gonna torque them down I went through some uh, forums Again, another torque spec that's kind of hard to find. Uh, it seemed like they, they decided on 50 foot-pounds, so that's what I'm going to go with. And then I will, uh, I'll I'll check it later, make sure they're not coming out or anything, obviously. So I'm going to torque these down. Quickly before I start it up, uh, because I know it was leaking, I'm going to uh, stick my finger up there in a fill hole and, and see, if, uh, see if I'm low. 
So that just takes the the end of a, a 3 8 ratchet, I guess. So let me get that sucker loose. Okay, I can't quite feel any uh, any fluid in there, so I'm going to pump some more in there. All right, I topped off the fluid, and it was low, so be sure and check that fluid level. You don't want to be running around on some empty transfer case. That would be a huge waste of time if you're replacing that seal. So uh, I'm going to get this plug in here. All right, one thing I do want to stress real quick, because I, I know I have it in a different video, but just in case, this truck takes this fluid. You cannot get this at your local parts store anywhere. You can probably only get it from like a Mopar website or the dealership. Uh, this particular truck came with three different transfer cases. And I only know that because I just got done at the dealership arguing with them because they about gave me the wrong shit again. So really do your research on this. I even went out to the service desk and made sure with uh, mechanics just to be 100% sure because you don't want to damage your, your transfer case just because of somebody's stupidity, you know? All right, don't forget to tighten up that fill plug. Uh, the only torque spec I can find says 15 to 25 foot-pounds. So it must not be that important. Um, I guess it's not really under pressure or anything, so it's probably not that big a deal, but I'm gonna split the difference and go with 20 foot-pounds. There we go. Give her a quick wipe down before I take it, on the, take it out on the road quick. I know it's gonna dribble for a little bit because I did, uh, did lube it up quite a bit, so. I think we're done here. Um. All right, that's it for this seal. Um, I'm very interested in any comments you might have, uh, ways to do this easier. This is my first time trying anything even remotely close to this, so of course I'm gonna fuck it up at least once. But uh, appreciate the views and the comments. Peace.